So here's Roblox, currently down 6.19% after a pretty big run that we've had. On Roblox, we were uh, we were up 2.28% uh, today, which uh, follows a pretty red day yesterday. But Roblox stock itself on the day chart has actually been crushing it. Take a look at the day chart here on Roblox. We've gone from IPO pricing and a closing of about $67 per share. And we really had some flatness and weakness at first. We had a lot of resistance around the mid 70s. Multiple times did we attempt to break out of about that 60, uh, sorry, 76 to 77 dollar level. And it really took until the end of May, May 20th to be specific, to to really start seeing a push in Roblox stock. And that's where Roblox all of a sudden ran from uh, somewhere around 74 dollars. Uh, all the way to a peak of just over a hundred dollars closing at 166 with an intraday high of just over 103.87 pretty incredible move here but over the last five or six days here it's been really softening despite volume being pretty decent so volumes maintained its strength here with around 14 to 15 million shares traded per day way up from the two to four million shares traded per day previously uh, but we've today had a 6% decline in the after hours. You can see this decline forming here. Probably a little bit easier to see it on the five minute chart. There we go. So you can see it was a pretty flat day. It was up about 2% of the day. However, now we're kind of plummeting here in the after hours. And the rationale for this actually has to do with this release here. Daily active users were 43 million for Roblox. So remember, Roblox is sort of this ecosystem. I kind of personally like to think of it like uh, the game store version of an app store. So you know how you have an app store and you get a bunch of different apps in there. I kind of think of like Roblox as that store. And we've got a daily active users for Roblox up 28% from May of last year. But this is where people are getting spooked down 1% from April of 2021. And see, this is something that we've regularly talked about before, because this is what we think is going to happen with inflation as well. We know that the market has been getting very, very spooked, and we saw this coming. We were talking about this on this channel. This is why you always want to subscribe to the channel. We were talking about this back in, in November and December of last year. I go, folks, I, you better buckle up for volatility, because when inflation comes in and people start seeing inflation doing this, they're not going to realize it's temporary, and we're going to see people freak out every time we get this inflection point. And these upper lines here are really what, what I expect to be. Uh, we, we started seeing this sort of fear in Feb because folks knew it was coming. And then this has really been reiterated in March, April, May, uh, and so far in June. But I personally believe we're kind of going to hit a peak. Uh, and that's going to be that June data. And we're going to kind of see this July fall back down. And once we get these changes in directions, that's often what investors are looking for. So that has to do with inflation. But what you have here is you have this, this monthly trend at Roblox of, of user growth. And even if that user growth is slowing, because this is growing user growth, right? This is like exponential growth. Here, what you might have is, is something like S-curve style-esque, where you kind of have COVID giving you exponential growth over here. And then you start getting this slowing. But what really freaks investors out is when the slowing actually turns into a slight decline, which this is, for example, what like negative 1% could look like. That right here is an inflection point, and that freaks people out. So why is Roblox stock down? It's solely because of this inflection point here. Uh, even though hours engaged were 3.2 billion, up 9% year over year, and up 1% from April of 2021. So even though hours of engagement went up, the amount of users went down potentially because of our reopening, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, and that's starting to freak folks out a little bit. Now, the stock has a, had a wonderful run, you know, not, not wanting at all to bash the company here by any means. I think it's had a wonderful run. Personally, I wouldn't mind buying the thing again somewhere close to IPO pricing. Uh, I, you could see this line that we've drawn here at about 65.57. You could see this is a pretty stable line. We've regularly visited this. We visited this on IPO day. We visited after IPO. We revisited it again a few months after the IPO. Uh, and now sitting at, where are we now in after hours? After hours right now, we're down about 8%. We're at about $82. $82 puts me about right here. Uh, on the day chart after hours doesn't show up. But uh, it puts me about right here. I think there's still some room to go. 
Uh, it puts me, this is not really, I think, a good support level. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if we do hit that mid 70s again, which was a pretty rough previous resistance for the stock. So it is possible that we go back, you know, if I were to draw it, I'd probably draw it, um, yeah, 78, 70, 76, I feel is a little bit more of an average of, of the issue that we've had over here. It's not the cleanest line here ever, but that's what I would be expecting is to be able to go back into here. If we could break through 76, I think there's a big buying opportunity on, on Roblox. You might not like Roblox long term though, but that's just a little bit of why Roblox fell and what I might be looking for for, for a cheaper entry price. And if it doesn't go down there, I don't care. And then I won't buy. <laughs> so as always, check out the courses down below. Get that 40% off coupon code. And thanks for watching this video. Make sure to share it if you liked it.